everyone. So we are officially on day nine of our PNE therapy treatment for the mares. And today we do a little something different. So while they still are getting their 10 doses of um, PNE, which they've been getting, it's been a very long 10 days for them. I know Annie, there she is. Um, they are also getting the addition of prostaglandin, which is Lutalyze today. So this will actually, so without adding this into the therapy, they would probably um, come into heat in I believe it's like 10 to 12 days. So with the addition of this, they will hopefully come into season in about four days. So tomorrow will be Friday. So I think ideally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday-ish, they should ideally come into heat. Then we can start to track them and move on to the breeding part of this. But without the addition of this, again, you have to wait longer. So this just makes that time window a little bit closer. Um, so this does help induce them coming to season ovulation. The thing with lutalice is that it can be very uncomfortable um, if given in high doses. So in this therapy that we're doing, you break it up in two micro doses. So you give a tenth of the normal dose today and tomorrow. Um, if you give a full normal dose, they usually induce some cramping, some sweating, and it's just kind of uncomfortable for them, but it only lasts about 15 minutes to an hour. So it's not like it's a long standing thing, but to prevent the kind of iffy side effects of it, uh, we give it in the 10th micro doses on today and tomorrow. So we are almost the done at the end of this. Um, I know the girls are probably gonna be very thankful. They have been saints this entire time, doing only poking them twice every single day for 10 days. So today we will start the Lutalice and tomorrow we'll give the last dose of peony and Lutalice. And then hopefully we'll start tracking from there on and get to the fun part of trying to breed. So stay tuned for that update. And this is a really, really short update of what we're adding into the therapy and what's the, what the point of it is. So today is day nine of peony and Lutalice. So see you guys soon once we actually are done with the therapy. So a quick little update, when I filmed, when we started the Lutalice treatment, we were on day nine. Today is day 10 and we are done with hormones. So I'm sure the mares are very appreciative of it. It's been a very long 10 days for them of getting the hormones, two shots once a day for 10 days. And then a lot, yesterday and today they got three shots. And I have to say, it's kind of funny. So yesterday was day nine and they got their first dose of Lutalice. And I noticed they already Boo was acting a little silly. Like she was almost getting ready to come into season, but she wasn't in season yet. So, and she was fine all day. It wasn't until the afternoon when I actually noticed this. So I'm curious if it's because of the hormones, because the lutalice is what's going to help bump up her cycle so that she hopefully cycles the next couple days. So today is Friday and it is the 28th. The plan is usually on after day 10, which is today, they usually on paper come into cycling four days later. So theoretically it should be Tuesday. However, so Monday we are planning, my vet is going to come Monday morning and we're going to check Boo and Annie and we're going to start tracking their cycle. We're going to try to start trying for this baby and the embryo. This is the most exciting part. So stay tuned for some big updates in the next week. We are going to start tracking. I'm going to try to film all the things going on and Again, theoretically on paper, we are hoping to breed probably next weekend. So she should come into season in four days. So Monday, Tuesday, and usually they ovulate day four or five on a normal cycle. So it's getting exciting. We're almost there. And it's so again, theoretically, hopefully by next weekend, we'll be going and getting everything from Rothwell and hopefully breeding Boo and then stay tuned to figure out where we are going next. And it's super exciting. We're finally at the stage. So thanks for everyone for staying along this journey so far. I'm going to keep you posted. Um, again, if you're following my Instagram, there's some more posts on there, a little bit more behind the scenes. But stay tuned for the next stages in this breeding adventure.